Good morning everybody. Welcome back. Um, today we are going to carry on with our um, free folio. Uh, again, this has been inspired by Tracy Fox. She did one a couple of months back and um, so that's where I got the inspiration from. So what I've decided to do today, I want to add a, um, um, a little journal here. So I have went ahead and did this in advance because you you guys all know how to do this so I just did a bit of stamping on it, added some pages, this is just a little envelope type pocket so um, you know I just want to make it very basic so that it can be swapped in and out so what we're going to do today is just put a, a couple of um, holes with some elastic to get this in and then we'll see how, how we are on time, because I'm going to try to keep these a little bit shorter. I know the last couple of ones I've, I've kind of run into, um, you know, they've been going like 45 minutes, and it just takes a long time to, to download those. So I uh, kind of got that center there, so I'm, let's see, I better put this. I guess it won't really matter if I'm just going to make it about there. I'm hoping I, that this, because that way, if um, next time if I want to use the larger paper, then I want to make sure I've got it plenty big enough there. Oh, I can already see I don't have that center. Yeah, I should have done that. Okay. Change of plan there, guys. Oh, this is the problem. Got that out still. Okay, let's redo that. So I see that's my... Let me get that centered. So did everybody have a good weekend? I um, did some car booting. But we sold this time, um, but it did allow me a little bit of time to roam around when things were kind of slow, um, which is always nice because you feel like you've kind of multitasked and, and done two things that needed doing. Uh oh, oh goodness. This is where I need my big bite, and I don't have it here. Doggone it. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to go with this. And, uh, so, anyways, that was kind of nice because uh, we got rid of a car load of uh, items. Oh, gosh, I wish I could get that. That's as far as that'll go, too. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to make this work. So let me think, that was yesterday, Sunday, um, that we did that, and Saturday, what did we do? Oh, Saturday we had uh, my in-laws over for dinner and visited with them, so that was most of Saturday, and that's really it. Um, we seem to be having high humidity here again. So I personally am going to be so glad to see summer over. Okay. It's not where I wanted those to be, but hey ho, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do it. So let's get our elastic run through. This elastic I ordered is a little bit thicker than I really wanted, so next time I'm going to order some smaller elastic. So yeah, I, I like the idea of this because that way it won't be permanent, and we can I can just you know replace it um, when when the journal's full. I'm going to pull that quite snug, so I'm just going to tie that off before I cut it. 
because I'm the world's worst at cutting things. Um, too short. <laughs> I think I have it right. And then I'd be like, oh, I wish I would have made that a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, I hope I haven't made that too small. But I don't think I have because sometimes this stuff kind of works its way back out. Okay, so that's that. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? It helped having this journal. Um, I went, I did that prior, um, just to kind of speed things up a bit, so you guys wouldn't be bored out of your minds. Let's see if I can move that down a little bit. That's the only thing I'm not happy about, because that's going to show with. Because this was the um, this is A4 paper, and I thought, well, just to because you know the whole project. I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and because uh, I don't want that elastic really showing on that one paper. Let me cut that one down. This paper's just a little bit long. Oh no. Mm. Okay, let me trim this off quickly. Yeah, I didn't bring my um, big bite. And it's funny because I, I purchased that thing about a year and a half ago. And I really did not use it. And I thought, well... I don't need to bring it. I'll pick it up next, you know, when I go back, which I haven't been. But sure enough, that's the way um, things go sometimes, isn't it? When you need it, you don't have it. So let me get this paper because that's um I've got my glass tonic you know board underneath and it shows the lighting so I'm I'm trying to keep it covered so you can get that glare. So I'm happy with how that's coming. So let's go ahead. We've got the time. Let's go ahead and make a couple of pockets. I I'm I think I'm gonna put a pocket. I'll put pockets inside, I think, and then later if I want to come back. So let me get a couple of pockets made. So I'll sit this over. And uh, let me grab my papers. So, let's see here. I'm going to need to, uh, I think what I'll do is back, back it with some cardstock. So, I'm going to measure this out here. Let me make sure you guys are seeing this. Um, I'm going to do those five and a quarter. By three and a quarter. So, let me grab my cardstock. So I'll go ahead and get these, and then we'll do a little bit of um, collaging on those. I love this paper. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Let's use this one up. I want to save that blue one. I had a little bit of a tidy up in my room, and uh, <coughs> little by little, I'm trying to get a system that works a little bit better, but what I've uh, 
come to the conclusion is I've got to replace my desk that my sewing machine's on, so I've recruited my husband's help in um, getting him to make one because the way the room is here, we've, we've got radiators to work around, and I really would like to have the natural light coming from under the window. So, um, it's just a bit of a wasted space, so I've asked him if he thinks, he's very, very good with um, carpentry, so I think, I don't know when it's going to get done, because it's, it's, it's not high priority. Uh, it is for me, but not for, <laughs> no, it, uh, it'll get done when it gets done, but Hopefully that's going to be a much better solution for the room because I need a place for my sewing machine, but then I also need more, you know, work worktop because, as you guys are well aware, it doesn't matter how much countertop you've got; it's never enough when you're crafting, is it? You um, you seem to just you expand more and more and more when you're creating, but I think, I don't think you'd ever have enough. I think you'd always fill it, no matter what. Let me ink that up a little bit. But that's, um, I'm trying to work on that, and then I've got an idea for my curtain. Well, it's not really, it's kind of like a cafe, uh, because I, you know, I'm very basic sewing, but there, I've got an idea for a little curtain I want to put over the window here, because I've got blind a blind on the window, so um, I'll save that. Um, so that's another little thing. I'm, I'm going to have to squeeze in a bit of time to do that. But I enjoy that kind of thing. It's... Um, very, very enjoyable to sit down, and but I'm a little apprehensive because he, the way I've, I'm going to have to do this curtain, it's got to be exact, and uh, that makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm going to try it, you know, these things, I guess, if it's not perfect, I'll just have to accept it, maybe I can figure out a way to tweak it to where it won't show, because that kind of stuff bugs me, and I do kind of get hung up on trying to make things perfect sometimes, but I guess it's all a learning process. I really wish I could take a little basic sewing. I know they've got online classes, but I feel like for a sewing, I really would like to have somebody in person so that I could use my machine and um, really get to know um, the abilities of, of the little machine I've got. It's a, it's a very simple, it's a, I, sh I would imagine it's like an entry sewing machine, but still I'd, I'd like to know a bit more and um, I'm sure there's, with that, all these things, somebody who's skilled has probably got lots of tips they could give you, but as I said, I want to find somebody in person if I could take a class from, but Everything seems to have gone online. Okay, so I, that's you see how quick that was. So, and I'm going to put a little notch in those. I still haven't gotten a solution on my um, punches. I'd like to have those organized a little bit better because as it stands they're just shoved in a drawer but they are so heavy. I haven't come up with anything else yet but I'm sure down the road I'll, I'll figure something out with those. Okay, so I'm very happy with those. I think that's going to be very sweet. I'll get a couple of tags for that. So, where's my glue, glue, glue? 
I'm such a creature of habit. When I um, when I do a tidy up, it takes me a few days to <clears throat> get my brain around where where I put everything. So yeah, we'll just take this in, this little project in steps, and uh, that way you can follow along and hopefully make one yourself, because they are a really nice way to use these this packaging. And I'll leave all the the final embellishments to the end because I don't like to work around a lot of um, you know laces and things when I'm still creating it because I might you know add some more flips I am thinking about some flips coming off that way I think that might be really really nice Okay, so I'm not going to bother with the, the tags just yet because I've found in the past if you get those tags in there, it's just another thing you got to mess around with. So, so you've got that, that. I feel like this needs a couple of flips. Let me see what we can do, guys. I know this is going to surprise you, but I've got a few of these laying around. So let's see, how would that work? I folded all of those. Okay. I'm just trying to see if I could manage two of those. Oh, I surely could. Hmm. I'm liking that. They will be upside down, but I don't think that matters if I stitch it really, because I like the stitching anyway, so I'm just trying to think if that's... Okay, so this, you could have a big journal tag coming out, right? But this I wouldn't probably do anything with because I think it would be, if you tried to do a top pocket there, I think it would, you know, it wouldn't work properly. So, we could have a side one, just, but it would be dinky, wouldn't it? But, ah, this is what we'll do. Okay, okay, we got it now. Let me just do this, because I will forget this. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to do a really light line. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking we'll do. Stitch that down the middle. Just cut off that very end, and that'll be two tiny pockets for two tags. And then... And I'll probably do the same there because that would be really nice. So let me just put a really light line. And then these are going to be, I could have a big tag, but is that going to look right? I'm almost inclined to have a, a tag coming out this way here as well because I think the top one is not going to, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take off a little bit of this. 
In fact, let me just give this a bit more room here. Yeah, I think that looks better. Let's do that. So, how much did I? Let's just go up slightly more. And that'll give us <coughs> three more tags within this because you're going to have the one coming out here, which is going to be big, and it'll show something really pretty. Flip it over. We'll have two tiny tags there. And then this would be awesome for just writing. I think I'm inclined to just leave that as it is. There'll be some stitching around this. Okay, well, let's just truck on with it. We got time, so um, this one's been cut, which is unfortunate. I'll have to swap that out, I think. Yeah, let me swap that for this one. Let me make sure I got those same. Okay, guys, I'm going to the machine and I will be back. Okay, everybody, change of plan. In my rush of excitement, I forgot before I stitch it, we need to get our papers on here. So, back to here. Let's just take some of these. And I'll, let's see, so this is going to be. I think I'll collage this because I want to leave this to blank. So I'm going to collage those two parts and then the front. And these I've had to do them upside down to make this work. So <clears throat> let's get started here. Just make sure you guys are able to see. Yeah, I'm really enjoying working with all the collaging um, papers. They're just, uh, every bit of them are uh, usable, you know, whereas sometimes those larger designs, you can't always use all of the papers when you're tearing them up, so... Yeah, I'll get this on there, then I'll run the stitch around it, and uh, then I can come back, because I love to see the stitching, and I always do this. I, I run the machine, because I, I love to get on that machine. I, I run the stitch, and then I end up covering up what I've done, and so uh, I'm glad I caught myself this time before I did it, because I do love to have that showing through. This, uh, the stitching just adds so much to a project, I think. Um, and I would say, you know, for, for those of you out there who don't have a machine, and you're not too sure you want to invest much, I don't know how easy they are to get your hands on in the US but over here there are loads of the little singer um, the hand oh what would, it's 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 got the little wheel you know that you can use your hand I forgot what they call that because I had one when I started out and they will only do a straight stitch that is the downside to it um, but I started out with that because I wasn't sure I wanted to invest here in a machine and so I picked up one of those at a car boot and it was like oh, about five pounds with the most beautiful wood case um, but I did, you know, it wasn't perfect by any means because the stitching wasn't even that straight. But to be honest, when you're doing the vintage style, it didn't matter. So I would just say to you, uh, start out with something like that and see. And if you 
take to the sewing, then you can invest in a... Because to be honest, the machines are, are so inexpensive now compared to what they used to be. It just, it's unbelievable how they've come down. <clears throat> and I have to say, I've got the most inexpensive, I think, Singer makes. But they I've had one in the U.S. I think they do a different uh, model in the U.S. to here. But they're both very similar uh, because I wanted to make sure I'd gotten so familiar with my machine there. I wanted to make sure I was using something very similar. So um, I've been really happy with both. I can't complain. They've just uh, done an amazing job for me. So, you know, you don't have to spend a lot. I just saved my money from, uh, you know, birthday and Christmas. And and put it together and, you know, went out. Because, like I said, I, you can get them for about $100. And they honestly, for paper, they're they're fine. You get the zigzag. You get a few. <coughs> you get a few decorative stitches. They're not. You know, I would like to upgrade um, when I can, because I just love it so much. Now, isn't it funny? Because when I was younger, my dad put me. I was about ten, and my dad put me in sewing. And, oh goodness, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. So my my story, you guys probably, you know, I don't mind sharing some stuff. My story is, uh, my mom died when I was a year and a half old. She was killed in a car accident. So, um, my dad, <clears throat> I've got two older brothers. And my dad raised the three of us with the help of my mom's sister, who was local to us at that time. That was in Michigan. And then um, when I was oh, about 11, my dad put in for a transfer <clears throat> to Georgia. And uh, we moved away from everybody. It was uh, a big, big adjustment. So that's why, you know, you probably hear me mention my dad, um, because he never remarried. He, um, he, you know, dated some really nice ladies, and I wished he had, because he, he you know, I just, my life would have been completely different if if he'd have remarried, I think, but he didn't, you know, for whatever reason, he thought that was the best thing for us, and, uh, so that's, that's a little bit about me, so, yeah, I, um, basically, when my dad, it's funny, because, you know, you talk about these things now, and it seems very peculiar, but it wasn't at the time, you know, but yeah, when I was about 10, he said, well, because he, he he'd worked shifts, and he said, well, he used to have to get a, um, a housekeeper, you know, because sometimes he would be at work when I would get home from school, because my brothers are seven and nine years older than me, so there's a massive age gap, you know, between us, and... Uh, so he'd always have a housekeeper there to make sure I got home from school, and um, they would usually cook a meal for us, you know, through the week. Now, the weekends, my dad would just, whatever, <laughs> banquet. You guys know the banquet pot pies? I basically grew up on those, which is so funny. But you know what? Now you're like, oh, I really want a beef pot pie. <laughs> so... Um, when I was about 10, he was like, well, you know, Gina, if you want to take over the house, I'll pay you um, so much a week, which was like nothing when you compare it to doing laundry for three men and yourself. 
grocery shopping. We had a grocery store across the street, and I mean it was just across the street, kind of kitty corner. And so I'd go get the groceries, and they knew knew us. So they would let me write the checks. At 10 years old, I was writing checks for the groceries. I'd bring the cart across that street, put the groceries away, then I'd have to take the cart back. So it's funny, but I got to be the master of spaghetti because I loved it. That was the quickest, easiest meal I could do for four people. So, oh my goodness, did we have spaghetti. They, they, it was just like every other day. What are we having, Gina? Spaghetti? Oh, again. <laughs> but it's funny. Um, you know, you think back on this, and that would never be allowed now. So there's my story of the day. Um, let me run to the machine now, guys. I'm... Oh, no, I didn't do this. Sorry. Let me do this again. Goodness. This is why I can't talk and create. Let me do a little bit back here, because I'm not done with this. I've, I've got some ideas. Um... On that so let's do a little bit here but I'm going to keep this I think this is a nice little journaling space there so that's um that would be kind of my routine and uh, let's see how much space I've got here almost three just funny because you think we, we had to grow up fast you know our generation there wasn't, um, and I, it's not just me. I mean, it's it's our whole generation. But I personally think it was better because people knew how to handle themselves. I, I I'm not in with this new. I think you can pretty much pick up on that. I'm not in with all this new stuff, and it's ridiculous. I think kids need to be taught life skills. Now, do I necessarily think, you know, what I was doing? I, I don't particularly. I look back and think, yeah, you know, I wish my dad would have remarried. I think my life would have been so, so different. But um, he thought he was doing the best thing. And that's all we can do as a parent is just try to do our best. Such pretty papers. I really, really love working with these. And that blue she's got in that is just so my my style. Okay, guys, now I can go to the machine. Let me do that stitching. Be back, and we'll get these in, and uh, we'll do a bit more. I got a few ideas I'm going to try on these, so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, guys, here we are. Now I've not attached them yet, but just so you can see the stitching, so that way we've created <coughs> two little pockets. I should probably <coughs> have notched that out, but. Mm, I won't because it's blue and I don't want that blue to show through, so yeah okay so let's think let me get these positioned right and then we will embellish those a little bit more now this I'm just going to kind of glue all the, over because I'm not going to try to create another pocket behind I think I think this is going to have enough pockets as, as it is Let's get that up there as high as I can. Oh, I've got loads of room on this side, actually. There we go. I think that's going to be okay like that. <clears throat> okay.
Oh, I didn't even plan that, but I quite like how that's it's kind of counterbalanced itself. I didn't even do that um, consciously, but I'm quite happy I, it came out that way. It, it balances it, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got we're going to have a big journaling card, two tiny tags, and then a this will probably be about a medium tag. And then you've got journaling here, journaling here. So I'm really, really liking that. Okay, guys, we're going to leave it at that today because this has ended up uh, probably pretty pretty good in length as it is. Um, and then we will carry on. And I don't know yet what we're doing. So, you know, stay tuned. Just come back and see what we get up to. And I uh, hope you guys have a great start to your week. Hang in there. You know, it's Monday. Mondays are rough, but we'll get through it. And uh, before we know it, the weekend will be here again. And uh, you can kick back and do something you enjoy. So you guys take care, and I'll see you here soon. Bye!